some plants clamber upwards by holding on to others. Those that live in the shade grow more slowly. The wind brings new seeds. We live here together, inseparable in the midst of continual change. If one tree is torn up, roots and all by a storm, it snaps the roots of its neighbors too. There is no professor of ethnography capable of carving up Hungary along ethnic lines and putting it back together as a single whole. We are all so jumbled up. And even if there are larger concentrations in this place or that, certain members of these reach so far into other populations, they form so many islands, that any dream of creating a homogenous community in Hungary would require at least half the population of our country to leave their homes and swap places with someone else. Such a thing is now truly unimaginable. Look around. Can you see all the plants are reaching up towards the sky? It is as if they are competing with one another. Though they are forming the garden together, and it is this garden that is trying to exceed itself. If one tree reaches the clouds, the garden reaches the clouds. Probably the most curious thing in history is the duel, but conflicting desire of humankind to unite and to separate, to mingle and to put a distance between ourselves and others. Individuality struggles against universality, combination with isolation. In early history, nations first appear on the scene as islands unconnected by sail power. Where a people grew from a strong seed, it was able to develop unaided and independently. Language, religion, morals and traditions were both unique to each nation and national. And given that these nations each stood alone, they each believed in their self-love, that they were the best of nations. This vanity lives on in every original nation's folklore according to which God is their tribal father, who tends to them alone, shelters them from harm, and makes them lords of the world," wrote ethnographer Paul Hanfalvi in 1840.